Hey everyone, another month in the books. So I wanted to go over our closed trades for the month of October. So here is the summary of our month. We had 11 closed trades. Eight of those were winners. Total profit of $740.88. And remember, we're trading these alerts with fairly small size. We try to keep each position somewhere between 500 and a couple thousand dollars per trade. I wanna make sure that you understand that you can trade these types of strategies really at any level. So if, if you have a larger account, you're a more experienced trader, you could be doing 10 times the contracts that we're doing here. Or if you have a smaller account, you can still trade for consistent profits. Now you'll notice this month we had some different strategies, primarily due to the fact that we are in the heart of earnings season. So every quarter, all the stocks have to come out and announce their numbers, their revenue, their sales, their debts, they're good, they're bad. And so there are specific strategies that we utilize around earnings to profit from these events. So you can see we traded some short strangles, calendar spreads, we did what are called earnings iron condors, pre-earnings long call, a post-earnings short put vertical, and pre-earnings long straddle. If you're not familiar with these strategies specific to earnings announcements, we have a full step-by-step -step course on how to trade options around these earnings events. Let's jump into our members area and take a little bit deeper dive on each individual trade. So if we scroll down, so we look at the trades in order that we took them, you can see our first closed trade was a strangle in XRT. And we had to adjust this trade several times, but by staying mechanical and making the necessary adjustments, came out with a profit of $160. Next trade was in FXE, also a strangle. This one didn't have any adjustments, so these are the easy ones. You put it on, take it off, booked a profit of $184. And same thing for EWZ, another short strangle, booked a profit there of 168. The next trade was a RUT calendar spread. As you can see, we did make several adjustments. However, we were not able to get back the losses incurred there. So that was one of our losses, lost 270 on that trade. Next trade was a short strangle in bonds, another easy one, just put it on and took it off for a profit of $421.88. Then we started getting into some of these earnings trades. So the first earnings trade was a earnings iron condor in McDonald's where we sold an iron condor and took it off just a few days later to book a profit for 116. We did a pre earnings long call in Google and that one did not work out for us. Lost 150 on that. And then the big loser of the month, the one that really hurt us was Amazon, which was another pre earnings long call. If you've taken our earnings course, you know that this is a fairly high probability play with the anticipation of upside momentum going into an earnings announcement. But in this case, Amazon did not participate and gave us a loss of $895. Now looking back on this, because we always look at our losers and, and usually learn more from our losers than we do our winners, and that is I probably would have went with smaller size on this. We only traded one contract, however, we could have used a lower delta and would have had less of a loss. However, you've got to be real careful about playing the hindsight game as well, because had this trade gone for us, we probably wished we would have done more contracts. So we show all the winners and all the losers, and unfortunately we had to take a decent sized loss on this one. The next day we did get an opportunity in Amazon to get some of that back where we did one of our core earnings strategies, the post earnings short put vertical, and we're, we're able to make back $293 on Amazon. The next trade was another pre earnings long call, this one Nvidia, and this one did work out nicely for us, giving us a profit of $540. Next trade in Alibaba, we put on a pre earnings long straddle, worked out nicely for us, booked a profit of 173. And our next trade in Tesla, while it was a winner, this was closed on 11.1, so that'll actually roll into November's closed trade results. So all of this is updated in real time. If you're a Navigation Alerts subscriber, you simply go to Navigation Alerts, click on Closed Trades, and all these will be in your members area. And each month we archive all the trades, winners and losers, so you'll always have access to all of our closed trades, winners and losers, 
that we've done since the time we started reporting on our navigation alerts trades. If you're interested in receiving all the alerts, the entries, the adjustments, all closing trades via email and text message, go to our site, navigationtrading.com, click on navigation alerts. We're still running a special. You can check it out for a two week trial for just seven bucks. I hope everybody has a great November trading. We'll talk to you next month.